forest is right up ahead. Thanks, Dashy. Now, let's hurry. Shellington has someone special he wants us to meet. Ah, oh, can't you just tell us who it is? No, it's a surprise. Ooh, is it someone you've known for a long time? Actually, I've never met him before. Is it some kind of slimy kelp monster? No. Hmm, is it a bunch of kelp heading straight for us? <laughs> Yeah, the water's full of kelp. And it's all coming from the kelp forest. Something's not right. We'd better take a look. Kelp strands are connected to the seafloor by these special roots. If these roots come loose, the kelp will float away. If too much kelp floats away, there'll be no more kelp forest. And all these creatures will have nowhere to live. But what's causing all the kelp to come loose in the first place? A vast! Look, mateys! I was afraid of this. Red urchins. Red urchins destroy kelp roots. They can wipe out an entire kelp forest. Unless there are sea otters. <gasps> Around to eat them. Pearl! <laughs> Hello, Shellington. Everybody, this is my sister Pearl the sea otter. Oh, hiya. Hi there, matey. Pearl is a scientist, just like me. She knows practically everything about kelp forests and kelp plants. Actually, kelp isn't a plant at all. It's a type of algae. See? So this is who you wanted us to meet. Uh, not exactly, but I'm sure Pearl can tell us what's wrong with a kelp forest. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid I've fallen a bit behind on my urchin duties. Urchin duties? Yes, we sea otters are what's known as a keystone species. The whole kelp forest depends on us to eat the red urchins so they don't destroy it. It's our duty as sea otters. But I've never seen you eat an urchin. Uh, well, actually, as it turns out, I'm allergic to urchins. Shellington helps the kelp forest in a different way, as an octonaut. Oh, usually, I can keep the urchins under control all by myself. But lately, I've been kind of busy with... Well, let me show you. He's right over here. I wrapped him up in kelp so he wouldn't drift away. Everybody, this is Periwinkle. <laughs> this is who I wanted you all to meet. My new nephew. Oh, look at him. Look at how fuzzy he is. Perry's still just a baby, so I spend most of my time feeding him, cleaning him, and teaching him how to find food. Once Perry's a little older, he'll be able to dive down to eat red urchins, too. As a matter of fact, it's just about time for Perry's first diving lesson. Oh, but I still have to catch up on my urchin duties. Pearl, why don't you and Shellington give Perry his diving lesson and let us clear the urchins out of the kelp forest? Oh, that would be wonderful. Octonauts, let's do this. We eat red urchins like this. Now you try. Oh, no, sweetie, that's a rock. Oh. <laughs> to Shellington. How's the diving lesson going? Well, Perry's found three red rocks, two red shells, one grumpy red crab, <coughs> but no red urchins. How about you? It took a while, but we managed to clear the red urchins out of the kelp forest. Oh, well, that should keep them under control, at least until it gets dark. Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, we're holding hands and holding on to kelp so we don't uh, float away. Uh. Still no sign of any urchins. Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were... Oh, urchins! Oh, no. That's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to. Shellington! Come in, Shellington. Your kelp strand is loose. Oh, um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> Flappity flippers! Captain, come in, Captain. The urchins are coming. The urchins are coming. Lots of them. Uh, quasi. Yeah. What? Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the GUP A. Octonauts, the urchins are heading for the kelp forest, and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's. Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl, and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tunip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. Everyone, in two positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy. We need all the help we can get. Fast! There they are, matey! Whoa! Whoa! If we get too close, we'll crash into them. Quasi, maybe you can... Reel them in! Already on it! Almost! Yeah! Almost! Jellyfish! Shellington! The cow! Grab the cow! <laughs> Hold on tight, mateys! We've got to get back to the kelp forest. It's no use, Cap. The urchins are already getting through. This looks like a job for a keystone species. Shellington! The urchins will keep coming back to the kelp forest unless we move them somewhere with plenty of food. <gasps> that rocky reef! There's plenty of algae for them to eat there. But what about the urchins that are already in the kelp forest? Pearl, I hope you're hungry. Reporting for urchin duty. All right, Octonauts, start moving urchins to the rocky reef. It's working. The urchins like it here. Keep it up, Octonauts. Thanks, Tweak. Good work, everyone. The red urchins are gone and the kelp forest is safe. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. I don't know what I would have done without all your help. Oops, missed one. <laughs> Perry, you did it! Your first red urchin! From now on, it looks like you'll have some help with your urchin duties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 
Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. I'll get this one for you, me hearty. These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. <sighs> That's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because, uh, because I need to... Um... Let me guess. Practice your driving skills. Aye, oh, that's it. Practice my driving skills. Dolphins! Those dolphins are fast. Even the babies. But I reckon I can catch up with them. Wow! Woohoo! So long, dolphins! Yeah. Ah, it's always nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh. He must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find her. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut B near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak. We'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognize the special sound. Ready, set, whistle! Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the Gup E. Peso, into the Gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Well, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? <gasps> Come on, matey. We're going outside to play. Oh, this 
looks like a good place. Well, go ahead now. Play. But don't go far, little matey. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, you got me again. A seashell? You want to play fetch, do you? Mighty fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. <coughs> what is it, little matey? <coughs> Careful, matey. Those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah. Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Here you go, little dolphin. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's race to the other side of the rocks, eh? Ready, set, go! Ha! Ah, dolphins! Excuse me, do you recognise this sound? Nope, uh, doesn't sound familiar, but earlier today we saw some other dolphins back that way. Maybe they'll know the sound. Thanks. I hope we can find them, Captain. Never heard that whistle before, I'm afraid. Oh. But I did see a dolphin looking for her baby a few minutes ago. She was on the other side of that reef. Oh, thanks. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. Captain, we have a lead on the mother dolphin. She's on the other side of the reef. Good work, Octonauts. Let's go. And a dolphin! Now try this! Hey, where'd he go? Oh no, where is he? Little matey, come back to Quasi! Where are you? Look, over there! Um... Excuse me, is this the sound of your baby? Yes, it is. I've been looking everywhere for him. Do you know where he is? We'll take you to him. Follow our slipstream. Oh, thank goodness. Barnacles to Quasi. We found the baby dolphin's mother and we're on our way back to the octopod. Uh, great. Me and the baby will be right here waiting for you when you get back. Barnacles out. Oh, this is terrible. I can't find him anywhere. Mmm, <laughs> lunch is served. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh, no, lunch is cancelled. He's gone, and you're safe. You can't just go off on your own like that. Stay close to me, matey. Huh? <laughs> He's your mother. Oh, my baby. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. Just doing my job as an octonaut. And a babysitter. Come on. It's time for us to go. Go on with your mum now. For me? Thanks, little matey. Goodbye. And thank you. Good work, Octonauts. And especially you, Quasi. Thanks, Captain. This belongs with me other treasures. I'll remember you always, little matey. <sighs> Captain Barnacles to Shellington, how's your exploration of the coral reef going? <laughs> <laughs>
Wonderfully, Captain. We've discovered something amazing. A huge stone archway. Uh, you there? Can you help us? Help you? Um, how? Oh, we've got cracks in the archway. And if the cracks keep cracking, the whole thing could come crashing down. <gasps> He's right. The cracks are weakening the arch. It could collapse any moment. Hmm. Is there any way to repair it? I don't think there's time for that, Captain. The cracks are already too big. Right. You'd better move the creatures attached to the arch to a safe area nearby. And be sure to warn other creatures who live around the arch, too. Aye, aye, Captain. We're on it. What was that? What was what? I don't see anything. I don't either now. I thought I saw something sticking up out of that burrow. Maybe just a shadow or a puff of sand. Hmm. Well, that's everyone. Maybe. I just want to make sure. Hello? Anyone home? You're wasting your time. I've never seen anybody come or go out of that burrow. I know I saw something. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Gilbert. Hello, Gilbert. What you looking at? We were looking to see if there's anyone down in this burrow. Of course there is. That's Mama's burrow. Who's Mama? Our Mama. If your Mama lives down there, you have to warn her that... <laughs> Fish certainly do come and go quickly in these burrows. I think I know how to get to the bottom of this. The Rover Cam. It's a camera that can squeeze into tight places. If there's anything in there, we'll see it on this screen. <laughs> peek a -boo. Gilbert, is that you? <laughs> Didn't we just see him swim into that burrow over there? I think it might be one big burrow with different entrances. Look! Whoa. Jumping jellyfish. Amazing! You want to meet Mama? This way! <laughs> Lots of hallways and rooms in this house, huh? <laughs> Mama, we've got company! Hey! Out of here, you! Out, out, out! Maybe I can tempt her out. Say, aren't you the fella I saw earlier? Yes, and I saw you too. Can you come out? We need to talk to you. You can talk to me right here. I'm a convict fish and I never come out. But uh, we met your children out here. We go out and bring Mama food. We're just about to get her some lunch. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? And make it quick. Uh, I'm afraid you and your burrow are in danger. The arch above you is about to collapse. You need to move somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. A grown-up convict fish like me never leaves her burrow. Now, good day to you. Oh, the arch is getting weaker by the minute. Dashi, how's everything going out there? I'm afraid there's a problem, Captain. There's a convict fish right under the archway and she won't leave her burrow. I think you might want to... Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a convict fish who needs to be moved out of the danger zone of a collapsing stone arch. She's deep inside her burrow and she really doesn't want to leave. Sounds like she's going to need some convincing, Captain. Quasi, Vegemals, into the Gup A and bring plenty of fish biscuits and kelp cakes. Hi, what you doing? Gilbert, can you get your mama to talk to Captain Barnacles? Is he your mama? <laughs> uh, not exactly, but I do look after him. Oh, what now? Excuse us, mama, but the stone archway above is going to fall on top of you if you don't move out quickly. We've been through that. I'm not moving. And... Mm -hmm. <gasps> Something smells good. Fish biscuits, Mama. They can all be yours. All you gotta do is come out. 
out. Oh, no, not leaving. No way, no how. Ah, <sighs> she's more stubborn than the lid of a rusty treasure chest. No amount of convincing is going to get her out of that burrow. Agreed. But perhaps we can move her burrow to a safer place. Huh? How? By digging another burrow. If we connect it to Mama's burrow, she can swim underground to a safer area. On it, Captain. We'll need to tunnel down vertically several feet, then along horizontally to join up with Mama's burrow. Well, let's get digging. Uh, one problem. If we make the hole too big, the tunnel could collapse. So, we need someone a little bit smaller than we are to dig it. Ah! Almost there. And perfect. Now, start digging to the right. They've stopped. Something's in their way. I think it's a large rock. <laughs> Sounds like they're trying to move it. It must be too heavy to move. Vegemals, you need to go around it. They're going round it, Captain. And yes, they're back on course. Time's running out. Quickly, Vegemals, dig as fast as you can. They're almost there. Yeah, almost may not be good enough. I'll try and slow it down. Uh-oh, that don't sound good. Maybe we should get out. The children, follow Mama! Oh, no! Get behind me, kids! Another cave-in. Well, I'll be! We're right behind you! Come on, kids! Dashie, did they all get out safely? I can't see anything. The cave-in cut off the signal. Hoo-wee! I like our new digs. Reminds me of my old home. Well done. And Mama and her young fish, all safe and accounted for. Got my burrow, got my kids. Huh? Hey, where's Gilbert? Gilbert! Gilbert! It's Gilbert. He must be trapped in the old burrows. We have to rescue him. But how? It's too dangerous down there for the vegetables. I know. The rover cam. A delicate operation like this calls for the steady flippers of a medic. <laughs> Octonauts, totem pole. We have to hold the arch up as long as we can. Yeah, but my tail isn't. Gilbert's tail is pinned. He's stuck. Ah, the rover can. Any way to maneuver it to free Gilbert's tail. Careful, matey. One wrong move and the whole tunnel can collapse. If anybody can do it, it's you, Peso. The steady flippers of a medic. Uh, ah, uh, can't uh, hold it uh, much longer. Uh, there! Now grab onto the camera, Gilbert! Yeah. All clear! Ah. 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 Oh, ah. Yeah. That was a close one. Well done, Peso. But where's Gilbert now? Right where he should be. Is everyone okay in here? More than okay, now that all my babies are safe and sound in our new home. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. Y'all come back and visit anytime. You know where to find Mama. <laughs> Mama's always home. Monkey with a tool belt. Wazzy, sound the Octo Alert. 
Octonauts, to the launch bay. And got it. <laughs>